Who knew that in 1957, this 22.8 inch diameter aluminum sphere would jumpstart an international race between two of the world's superpowers, the United States and the USSR. Over the next two decades, as the two countries competed not only for space supremacy, but also global prestige and the future of technology, this battle would push humanity beyond the skies and into the stars as we began to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. In today's video, we'll uncover a brief but rich history of this pivotal moment in humanity. So let's begin. Why did humanity feel the urge to race to space? Well, it's no secret that humans have looked to the stars for centuries and wondered what it's like up there. But this space race was more than just a scientific pursuit. It was a direct byproduct of the Cold War struggle for political and nuclear supremacy between two of the world's superpowers. Each was determined to prove their superiority. To the leaders and citizens of this time, the stakes were high, as were the ambitions, so both countries poured considerable time and resources into achieving what was once thought to be impossible. The starting gun for this decades-long race was fired in October 1957, when the Soviet Union launched the world's first man-made satellite named Sputnik into orbit around the Earth. This seemingly small achievement sent shockwaves around the globe, particularly in the United States, where it raised alarms about the Soviet's technological capabilities and its ability to seize the initiative on space exploration. It was a wake-up call for the US, signaling that the competition for the final frontier had only just begun. Just a month later, the Soviets launched another daring mission, this time sending the first living creature into space, a dog named Laika. While the mission was a major leap forward and jump-started research that would lead the first humans to enter space, it also highlighted the risks of space explorations, as Laika did not survive more than six hours. Nonetheless, the Soviets had demonstrated their ability to send living beings beyond Earth, raising the stakes even higher. So, in response, the US ramped up its own space program initiatives. In July 1958, President Dwight Eisenhower signed a law creating NASA, setting the stage for America's entry into the space race and its achievements for decades to come. As the US was just beginning to enter the race, the Soviets continued to ramp up their achievements. On April 12, 1961, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first man to orbit the Earth. In an unsurprising twist, the US was not happy about this achievement. It fueled their ambition even more. Just 23 days after the Soviets' achievement, NASA sent the first American into space, Navy test pilot Alan Shepard. Then, in February 1962, the US sent John Glenn into space, where he became the first American to orbit our world. At this point, the US was catching up, but it was clear the US needed a game-changing goal. So on May 25th, 1961, John F. Kennedy delivered his famous speech, announcing to the world the United States' new plan, to land a man on the moon before the decade was out. This bold vision marked the beginning of the Apollo program, an ambitious and costly endeavor that would require unprecedented innovation and international collaboration. Over the next 12 years, the US spent $25.8 billion on the program, which, if you adjusted for inflation, would be over $200 billion today. The program saw advancements like the successful Gemini missions and tragedies such as the Apollo 1 disaster in 1967, where a cabin fire during a pre-launch test claimed the lives of three astronauts. Then, finally, on July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man to step foot on the moon, famously describing the achievement as That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Apollo 11 was a success, and more than 650 million people from around the world saw the event unfold before their eyes, with many believing the space race to be over and the US its victor. 
However, some historians argue the true end of the space race didn't happen until 1975, when the Apollo-Soyuz test project saw a historic handshake in space, as American and Soviet spacecraft docked together, allowing astronauts and cosmonauts to work together for the first time and pave the way for future international collaborations. The space race left an indelible mark on both technology and culture. NASA's innovations have led to everyday technologies like GPS, satellite TV, and even memory foam. But more importantly, it inspired generations to look beyond our planet and dream of exploring the stars. Today, private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are picking up where the space race left off, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and making space more accessible than ever before. If you learned something new, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to continue exploring.